Hi, everybody. Hi, teacher. How are you? Pretty good. A little bit tired, but. Huh? It's good. A little bit tired, but it's good. Good. <laughs> yeah, I know. By this time in the week, we're all very tired, right? Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, the, the good news is that this is our last day of the week for classes tomorrow. You don't have any classes, so you can just rest a little bit, right? Yeah. Is it raining where you guys are? Well, uh, actually, here it's not raining. Yeah, because it's it's raining really hard where I am. Oh, really? I almost you, you're living in Zabal. I almost can't hear you all because of the rain. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. How how are you, Alex? Wilmer, Claudia, Andy, Josue, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm okay. Thank you. Good, good. Okay. Um, I just want to say that um, this is my first class because I didn't can to be in the last class and in the class of the Monday. Uh, so this is my first class. Sorry. Okay, that's not a problem. But thank you very much, Alex, for connecting. Um, thank you. Excellent. Uh, what you can do, Alex, is uh, look at the classes that we that we have um, from the from the video in from, YouTube. Uh, the YouTube, yeah, the YouTube channel. You yeah, can... I have seen the first one, but I didn't uh, watch the the other classes. Oh. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna see that. Sure. Sure. No problem. Yeah, that, that's what the classes are there for. Um, in case you guys need to, um, if you guys need to uh, refresh, or if you can make it one day, then you are able to to look at the classes um, the day that you were absent. Okay. Okay, it's right. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Well, uh, welcome to the class as well. Uh, just a question, Alex, um, but okay, I know that you were not here the first day of classes, but is this your first course at um, Inglés Corporativo or have you been, have you been in other courses with us? Uh, no, uh, this is my first one. Oh, okay, okay, good. Yeah, but I have seen the, the, the logistic, I don't know how to say, I have seen how it's, uh, it's going to be. The platform and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the Good. platform and the group in, in WhatsApp and the uh, and the classes in YouTube. Okay. Good. Excellent. Yeah. That the the first class. That it, I'm happy that you saw the first class because in the first class we talked about that. We talked about um, uh, what we were going to be doing, what to expect, how the platform works, um, and that's all of that is very important. So I'm glad you were able to see that. Okay, um, so yeah, just go ahead and, and watch the other videos this weekend, maybe, and that will be easier for you. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I see more people have joined the class. Uh, just a question. Can you guys hear me okay? Because it's raining really hard where I am. So I just want to make sure that everybody can hear me. Yes. We hear you. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. If you are having, if you have problems hearing me, just let me know. So I'll see what I can do about that, okay? Um, all right, and also if you guys are having any problems with like connection or anything like that, don't worry about it, just let me know. And um, I understand because right now it's, at least in El Salvador, it's raining very hard. Um, and uh, I'm sure that in other places too, right? So, okay guys. Um, First of all, um, let's, I want to show you guys, I'm going to start the class there by just showing you something very quickly. Okay, so I sent uh, in the group, I sent, um, let's say like the homework, let's kind of say about something like that. 
um, although it's not specifically a homework, a piece of homework. But um, basically what we're doing with this is um, we're expressing um, opinion like and dislike. So in the group, um, I, I sent some, some beginnings, uh, their sentence beginnings, um, so that you could complete on your own. Um, so I said, for example, Um, so here we have there a verb that expresses your likes, opinions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can say I like it, I dislike it, you can also say I hate it, um, you can say I can't I can stand it. You can say, um, I don't mind. Okay. So those are expressing your, your opinion, your likes, your dislikes, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this this part is pretty pretty simple, right? Pretty straightforward. Okay. So what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna put the word when. Okay. So I like it when. I dislike it when. Sorry, my mistake. I, I just made a spelling mistake there. It's not I had it, it's I hate it. So I hate it when, I can't stand it when, I don't mind it when. Do you understand all of these? Um, do you understand these these sentences here? Or better said the, the verbs? Like, yeah. dislike, hate, can't stand, don't mind. Yeah. Class, are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everybody understands those sentences, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. So you can see that uh, you're expressing a like or dislike. Some of them can be like uh, something that is more neutral. You're not saying that you like it. You're not saying that you dislike it. Um, you're basically like this one, for example, this one, I don't mind. It, it means that it's like, it's not that I like it. It's not that I hate it. It's kind of like I'm neutral, all right? I really don't, don't care about it. It's not, it's not a problem for me, okay? Uh, whereas these ones are more like, yeah, it's a problem. Another one that is common is, for example, I love it. Okay? And so here, um, then I'm going to, after I put when, I'm going to say the situation that we have here. Okay, so uh, for example, I like it when, okay, 
speaking about our current situation, I like it when it. It rains. At. It rains. A lot of. At night. It rains at night. That's the situation. Okay. Uh, I love it when um, um, for example when it, we go to the beach yeah. on vacation. Okay. Uh, I hate it when no, sorry, I just like it when, for example, um, I just like it when, what, do, what can you guys just like? Come on, give me ideas. Would but, I love, but, but I love it, teacher. Sorry, could you repeat? Or, or, I, or I love it. I love it when I have a meeting with, with friends, for example. Okay. When I, um, I have, uh, when, or when is it, but I said when I go out, maybe? When I oh, when I go, go out. out with friends? With friends. Okay, yeah. Um, for example, I could also say, I hate it when uh, when I people, see a person. Okay. Um, see my message and don't respond. Right? Or like they say, they say, me dejan en visto. <laughs> okay. Right? Mm. Uh, or it could be, I can't stand it uh, when, oh, sorry, when, uh, when, when I get you know, stuck in traffic. Sorry, okay, okay, I can't stand it when I agree with you. I'm stuck, yeah, me too, stuck in traffic. I think no one likes that, like, no one can stand that. I don't mind, um, when I don't mind when I don't mind sorry I should say it I made a mistake here I don't mind it when I, I don't mind it. wake up early okay on weekends okay when um I have oops I have to wake up early no. On weekends. Okay. So, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The, the situation is the same. Does that make sense? So, I could say yeah. any of these. I, I'm just, I'm just um, giving you ideas, but, but it could be about anything, right? I can't, I can't stand it when, oh, when we go on vacation, uh, go to the beach on vacation. Some people don't want, don't like the beach. Or I hate it when it rains at night. Or you know, any one of these you can you can go ahead. It doesn't have to go like this, right? So these are just basically the situations. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then there's okay. So this is um, this is using um, I I love I like it I love it blah blah blah. Um, but we can also, instead of saying, sorry, with I, you can also do something else. And I'm going to write it over here, actually. Second, I'm gonna move this over here. So I have more space. Okay. All right. But another beginning that I can start with is this. I can start saying, 
Roots. Oh. It makes me happy. Or it makes me it could be, for example, a moment. It makes me sad. Or I can say it bothers me. Um, I can say um, it embarrasses me. Okay, etc., etc., etc. The the idea is it, 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 it's um, it just means that. Um, it would be referring to the situation, right? Okay, so that also expresses your opinion about something. So the, there are many other possibilities, right? It makes me sad, it makes me happy, it bothers me, it doesn't bother me, it embarrasses me, it doesn't embarrass me. Um, uh, what else? Um, Let's see, it, we could, it really upsets me, we could say, it upsets me. Butters and uh, upset, it, it's, it's the same. Um, kind of. Um, bother is, it just that, like you said, um, yeah, it, it's, it's very similar. Uh, bo like bother, it just means like me molesta, right? But upset is a little bit even more than just a molesta. Like it, it sometimes like upset means that like you really are it, it um, it, it 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 really affects me, right? So it's a little bit more than just bother. Upset means um, that it it really. What's the word? Oh, I'm thinking a word, but I can't think of it. Okay. Sorry? Sorry, I, I, could you repeat that, Luis? I... Okay. Well, yeah, no, I'm just, um, I, I'm, it, what I was trying to say is that um, upset make it's like something that really affects me. Okay, that's that's actually the word I'm trying to look for. Um, so upsetting is a little bit more than just bother. It is the same idea, but I would say that upset. If you are upset, it's more than just bother. It it, it means that it has affected you more, like emotionally. Okay. 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 Ah. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So is that clear for everybody? Teacher, yeah, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, Rafael. If I say something like "it dislikes me," it's incorrect. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it is because um, it, when you're saying about it, it's referring to the situation. So the situation okay. can't dislike you. La situación no eh, o, or Usted no puede, no puede, um, um, no gustarle a la situación. Es la situación okay. que no le gusta a usted. Does that make sense? Yes, I think. Okay. All right. Any other questions, guys? No. No. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to right now I'm gonna stop sharing here. And I need I'm going to be dividing you guys into breakout rooms so that you can practice those sentences with your groups. Hold on. All 
Okay. All right. Here we go. So, oh. so I want you to practice. Tell your group about um, the sentences that I sent in the in the WhatsApp group. I want you to go ahead and practice it with your your classmates. So you're going to say, um, "What about you with the first one?" Okay. Well, for me, it really. Um, uh, I I really like it when blah, 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 blah. What about you? What do you like? I really like it when blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you're going to be discussing that, those sentences with your partner, your own ideas. These are something that is true for you. Okay, sounds good? Yes, sounds okay. good. All right, are you, everybody yes. clear on what we're going to be doing? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's... Go for it. Okay, I'm going to open up the rooms right now. You can go ahead and join. Yes, teacher. Carlos, do you have any problems joining? Are you having problems joining? Carlos, can you join the group or no? Hi, Alejandra. Can you hear me? Carlos, can you hear me? Okay, perfect. kind of weather yeah okay. what about you Luis uh, the number two or, or no the number the number, the number first the number one yes okay yeah I like it when I when I go to the beach um, on weekend okay well okay. me uh, I like it when I can understand, for example, a native speaker in a TV program, for example. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I can I, I can hear you. Okay. okay. Uh, I said that I like it when I can understand a native speaker in a TV program or in a or in a movie. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Fine. So, uh, you can share this the second and Juan Manuel. Okay. Mm. 
Sorry, sorry guys to interrupt you. Are you guys um, having any problems? Do you understand the explanation? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, we understand yes, teacher. Yeah, is all clear? Yes. All yeah. clear, thank you. Okay, wonderful. Um, I'm gonna add a, uh, somebody to your group. Okay, so she'll be joining in a moment. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I don't it when when I don't like I don't mind it when when teacher how do you say no se me ocurre I, I have one. Anything. I I don't have an idea. I don't or I can't think of anything. <laughs> what? Uh, when you said I don't mind it, it's like you don't do. care about it. Ah. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. 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 But ah, okay. uh, I uh, I don't. No se me ocurre. Right now. I can't think of anything. Okay, I can't speak anything. Um, I cannot make work. Uh, can be, I don't mind it when people don't like me, or people didn't like me, or something like that. Mm. May I say something like that? Yeah, maybe it will be. I have one that it will be uh, maybe uh, an advice. I don't mind it when someone that don't know me say something okay. about me. Okay, that someone that don't know me or that doesn't know me? That doesn't know me, yeah. That's say me. something about me. Okay. I understand. All right. Do you guys have any questions? Um, no, teacher. No, 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 no. no, teacher. I don't have any okay. questions. All right. Okay. I'll go and help. I'll go in ahead and into another breakout room to help you. Okay, teacher. I'll be back. Okay. okay. I'll see you guys in the main session. Okay. What um, about you, Karen? Karen? What? Don't mind it. When you can? When I can help someone or another oh. person. Are you volunteer? Sometimes I am volunteer of a shelter of animals. And sometimes when I can help someone, I like to do it. Like giving some money or food or clothes, something that I can help. I also like to be volunteer. I am a scout. Really? That's right. Yes, yeah. Oh, how are you guys doing? Any questions? Hi, teacher. Well, for now, anything you want to ask me? I think no. Yeah. No? No, not for now. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem then. Okay. So you guys go ahead. I'll go in and um, and help the other groups. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hey, teacher. Number seven. Yeah. yeah. Bonus me when. Oh. oh, oh. Um, or kidding. Yes. And it doesn't bother me when um, I don't know. You guys need help? Do you have any questions? Uh, Not for the moment, teacher. 
Okay. Well, uh, I got a question, teacher. Yeah, yeah, tell uh, me. How do you pronounce embarrasses? Oh, okay. That's embarrass. Embarrass. Think of it like a bear, like the animal bear. Embarrass. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else that you need help with? No, thank you. Okay. Well, um, All right, I'm going to go and help the other groups then. Okay. okay. Bye. Um, well, yeah. We are in the class again. Yes, it, the time has gone. Okay. Hi guys. See you, in the you need help? Any problems? Uh, every well. Guys, do you need help? Uh, how to say uh, it's embarrass me? I don't know how to say. Okay, In, okay. Uh, you can say um, it embarrasses me. Embarrasses. Embarrass. Embarrass. Yeah. Think of it like the animal, right? Em uh, a bear, right? So em uh -huh. embarrasses. Embarrass me. It embarrass me. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anything else? No, not really. Okay, all right. Any... So, Carla, is you okay? What? Are you okay? Any other questions that you have? Yeah, no. No, this is, this is the only one. Okay. okay, all right. I'll go ahead and um, I'm going to go and help the other groups. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Now it, it embarrassed me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it embarrassed me. Explain uh, um, some idea that I have about about anything. Okay. And, and like a, a a scenic afraid. I I don't know. Yes, I when imagine I, that, that that happens often when you are writing a message, for example, it's very, very common that other people understand the uh, the idea in a, in a badly manner, I imagine. Mm -hmm. so yes, yes, it's good. Okay. And the last is, it really upset me. Do you guys have any questions? Teacher, uh, yes, we we had one. How do you say, um, for example, aprovecharse de alguien, aprovechar algo? Okay, that's take advantage of. Okay, take, oh, okay. Advantage, take, advantage, take of. advantage of. Hello. Yeah, that's correct. Take uh, advantage yes. of. Okay, okay, teacher. Thanks. Yeah, okay, thank you. That's a rose during our conversation. <laughs> uh -huh. um, do you need okay. more time, guys, or do you think that's enough? Oh, no. It's enough. It's good, I think. No. Yes. yes. Okay, you. so you don't need more time? No. Uh, no. That's good. Thank you. Thank you, guys, for sharing with me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So we got to go back to the principal screen. Uh, I'll yeah. be pulling you back in a moment. Just stay there. Just keep okay. continue talking. I'll, you'll, I'll be pulling you back in a moment. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So let's discuss the, the last, right? Okay. I'll discuss Ed, the last one. Okay. Well, uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. I can hear you again. Did you guys already finish or do you need more time? And we need more time. 
More time? Think... How much? Two more Name. minutes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're missing just two, uh, maybe four sentences. Okay. Okay. I'll give you two more minutes then. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. See you in the room in the main room soon. Okay. It doesn't uh, bother me. Okay. Happy birthday. It was <laughs> a few days ago. <laughs> Sorry, guys, to interrupt. I just wanted to know: Are you guys ready? Are you almost finished? Yes, we are just waiting the answer of Josue. Okay. Okay. Yep. So in about a minute, I'll be calling you back to the main room. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, yes. Some years ago, yes, but now. Mm. Sorry, guys, to interrupt. Just wondering, are you finished? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. I'll be calling you back into the main room very soon. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, guys. So welcome back. Uh, how was the practice? It was good. Nice teacher. So we really, we really have a good, a good discussion, a very good discussion. It was very good. Yes. Right. Good. Yeah. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. That's the idea. So this is what this um this is about, right? It's it's about practicing um, and understanding, and that is actually one of the topics that we have in the platform that you will be able to do if you have not done already um, the first section there. Um, I think it's section. I don't remember what section it was. Well, it's section one, but I don't know if it was one point six. I think it's four. One point six. One. Point seven or something like that. And that's the topic that we just did right now. Or um, so what we're gonna okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys hear me? Yes. Yeah? yeah, okay. All right. So we're going to now um, look at another topic. Can everybody see my whiteboard? Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. We can see. We can see. Okay, so now we're going. We're going. What we're going to do is talk a little bit about gerunds. All right. So, can you guys remind me what are gerunds? I in this form. Is the present participle of the verb? Very good, exactly, excellent. Uh, I like that, oh. present participle of the verb, absolutely. That's the form of the gerund. So for example, if the verb is work, going to, if the verb is work, then what, What's the gerund of work? Working. Very good. Working. If the verb is play. Play. Playing. 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 Good. Playing. Okay. If the, uh, be careful, guys. Please um, do not eliminate that Y. It, with the gerund, it's not very complicated at all. All you have to do is add an ing. That's it, okay? The only ones that change a little bit is when we have, for example, words, uh, verbs that finish in, in like e, for example, like, uh, for example, down, okay? Then in that case, when it finishes in e, not when it finishes in y, when it finishes in Y, you always keep the Y, okay? So like, for example, like try, you're not gonna say trying, for example, no. It's gonna be trying like this. So you're gonna keep the Y, okay? So don't, don't eliminate the Y. But it's different when we have verbs like dance. When it finishes in an E, what do you do? We simply eliminate the E and put I and G, okay? Uh, right, right, right finishes an E. So we eliminate the E and put right team, okay? Um, okay, or complete. Complete finishes an E, so we're gonna say complete team. You got it? Got it. Questions? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No? Okay. All right. And the other one is like when you, the other exception that we have. Um, um, so the other exception that we have is when we have verbs that follow what I like to call the one, one, one rule. One, 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 what does that mean? It means that they are verbs that have one syllable and they finish in one vowel and one consonant. Example, like sit, okay, run, Swim. Fix. Sorry, fix. Uh, fix actually is an exception. Uh, we okay. have verbs that finish in X or W. We do not, uh, we do not apply that rule. Okay. Okay. So, but, but, but yes, um, these ones, for example, um, uh, if you notice, we have, they are only one syllables. Okay, so all yeah. of them is like C, 
sit, run, swim, one syllable, right? And they finish in one vowel, I, U, and I here. And they finish in one consonant, T, T, and M. So what we do here, what are we gonna do guys? You, I think you already know. So what are we gonna do? Duplicate the last consonant. Exactly. We're gonna double the consonant. So in this way it's gonna be T. And this one's gonna be N. And now I and G. And then you're just gonna add I and G. Okay. So that's the rule with gerunds, right? All of them with ing, um, yeah. and you only eliminate the e if it's at the end, and you double the consonant if it has if it follows the one 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 rule, right? So that's a gerund. Now, something you gotta be we gotta know about gerunds is that they're different than in Spanish. In Spanish, gerunds are called gerundio, right? Um, yeah. But the difference between, let's say, gerundios and gerunds, although that sounds really funny because it's the same word just in different languages, but the difference is that in Spanish, gerundios are verbs. They're always verbs, right? If you say, for example, nadando, well, that, that's a verb, it's an action. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, jugando, mirando, comiendo, et cetera, et cetera. So they're, they're all verbs, they're actions. In English, even though they look, even though these verbs here, I'm sorry, even though these words here look like verbs, they are not action. Let me repeat that word, that again. These are not action. Mm -hmm. These are not verbs. They are in the form of a verb, but they are not verbs. If you understand that concept, the, the next part that I'm going to show you will be easier. Okay, so I need you guys to understand. I'll repeat. These gerunds are not verbs, Verb. and not actions. What they are, they are actually. Anybody know? Yes, they can be an uh, object. Uh -huh. In a sentence, for example. Uh huh. And uh, objects are what? What are they? Objects are not no. verbs. They are. They act like a noun. Exactly. There you go. That's exactly what they are. So these now gerunds are actually nouns, okay? Or if it makes it easier for you to understand this, they are activities. And you guys know that activities are it's not. It's not necessary happen. Does that make right sense? in that moment? Sorry. Is it's not necessarily happening right in that moment. No, it's actually not happening because if it's happening, yeah. then that means that there's an, it's an action. But these are not actions, these are nouns. These are activities. If it makes it easier for you guys, they are activities. Now, if you understand this, the next part is gonna be super easy for you guys to understand. Okay. Now let's look at gerunds. Gerund. So most of the time, gerunds can be objects. Okay? You probably have seen more gerunds as objects. Okay. Um, most of, like I said, most of the time you probably have seen this. Um, so we have, for example, I, oops. Okay. 
So you're gonna say, I love, I love swimming. Okay. Swimming is an object, right? It's the thing that I love. The verb is love. So what is what is it that I love? Well, I love swimming. That's the activity. I love the activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or for example, uh, my favorite um, sport. is dancing, okay? Because I, I, I think I told you guys, <clears throat> for me, dancing, well, it's, it's a sport, right? Okay? So notice it's an activity. It's not an action, okay? You can say also, um, I don't uh, mind working on weekends. Okay. I don't mind working on weekends. So here, if you guys notice, I don't mind. Don't mind is the verb. Therefore, this is not a verb. It's an activity. Yeah. Does that make sense for you guys? Yes. So like Makes I said, sense. this is probably the one that you have seen most, most often, right? Gerunds as objects. Teacher? Yeah. Um, what about, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> Sorry? Um, uh, what about the sentences? Um, I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting. Uh, no, in that case, getting is the verb because I am getting. Am is the, the auxiliary and getting is the verb in the IG form. That's actually the, the present progressive. So, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, okay. Um, all right, so that's the one, like I said, that's probably um, the one, how you've seen gerunds work most of the time. Um, but I'm gonna teach you something about gerunds. Gerunds can also be subject. And even though they're, not as common, but it's also possible. So, I'm going to give you an example here. Learning English is it's good. For example. Okay, so, if I can say, for example, swimming. Um, Swimming is great for um, for exercising if you have a bad knee. So look at the sentence here. Swimming is great for exercising if you have a bad knee. Notice, notice what I said before. I said that gerunds are not verbs. They are nouns or activities. Therefore, this over here is not, it's not a verb. Because we can never start a, a sentence with a verb. We start sentences with noun, right? Or subject. So who can tell me what this means in Spanish? Swimming is a great is great for exercising if you 
if you have a bad knee? We're going to say it in Spanish? Yeah, in Spanish. How would that be? Nadares. I understand that. Nadares, bueno, o es grandioso. That's true. But... Yes, para ejercitarse. Okay. Okay. That, right. fine. Okay, that's great. But if you say nadar, nadar is an action. Yeah. Okay. So, and we're saying that we're talking about the gerunds are... La natación. Ah, very good, Carlos. Exactly. Since we're talking about activities, well, the activity of nadar is la natación. So in this case would be la natación. Uh-huh. Continue. Es buena para ejercitarse. Magnífica para ejercitarse si tú tienes una rodilla mala o dañada. Uh-huh. Yeah. Exactly. So notice la natación es es eh, es muy bueno para ejercitarse blah 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 right. So notice here we're talking about gerund as a subject. Yeah? So does that make sense for you guys? Yes. So yes. I told you that if you understand the gerund or nouns or activities then this is easier for you. Okay, you're not like, why are we starting with a verb? No, we're not starting with a verb. We're starting with an activity. I'll give you another example. Um, uh, Playing with toys is part of a healthy childhood. So notice, playing with toys, that is our gerund. Right, playing with toys. And that, that, this is actually what we call an, uh, a gerund phrase because it's not, just, it's not just playing, it's playing with toys. All of this idea is a subject. And how would you translate it? How would you translate it, guys? Tell, how, many, how would you? Say that in Spanish. In Spanish? In Spanish, too? Uh -huh, yeah, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. For me, it's uh, el jugar con juguet, el, el, el... Yes, mm, yes. I don't know. Yes, yes, but go ahead. Uh -huh. El jugar... El juego. El juego con juguetes. Es parte de la salud mental de la, de la niñez, jugar con de los niños. ¿Es parte de una, de una infancia saludable? Yeah, uh -huh. very good. El jugar con juguetes es parte de una uh, niñez saludable. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Notice, so this is what we call a gerund phrase, right? Because it's not, it's not just el jugar. It's el jugar con juguetes, right? So the whole idea, playing with toys, okay? And I'll give you one more just to make it um, clear for everybody what we're talking about. Um, no, sorry, I'm not going to say wash and say brush. So brushing your teeth after every meal is a good idea. So notice here, it, the, the gerund is brushing, but the subject is not just brushing. It's brushing your teeth, but not just brushing your teeth. It's actually brushing your teeth after every meal. All of that is the activity. All of that's the activity. So this is also another gerund phrase. 
right? So what happens with brush your teeth after every meal? Well, that activity is a good idea. Okay? Okay. So it's a good I, habit, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a good habit, you're right. Okay, so here we have Jaren. Uh, here we have just a gerund by itself, but here we have a gerund phrase that is a little, a, a short gerund phrase, and here we have one that's a little bit longer. Okay. So that's what we call. Oops. A Jaren phrase. Well, not. All right, guys. So there you go. So this will help you guys uh, with um, this is actually. If I'm not mistaken, this is from section number two already um, in the platform. So I would strongly suggest that this weekend you finish off section one in the platform and you can start with section two because this is already from section two. So you should be, by Monday, I would say that you should be around the middle of section two, okay, in the platform. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right, guys. So that will be all. If you guys need to brush up, if you guys need a little bit more explanation, or actually not too much explanation, but um, if you guys need to uh, um, understand this topic a little bit better, remember that uh, we have the YouTube channel where you where it's um, uploading the videos, so you can see videos whenever you want. And remember, oh yeah, the teacher explained this, and so it'll be easier for you guys. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So I will see you on Monday. Okay. See you Monday. Good, Monday. good night. Good Monday. Have a good Bye. weekend. Good night and have a good weekend. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.